But, like, my views have changed, you know? Like, things I've said in articles and stuff, like, back when I'm, like, 24 or, like, 22 or whatever, are different than how I feel now. Like, I'm not, um, especially my views on feminism. It's like, this is just pathetic, what's going on right now. Like, because you put a fucking photo of yourself naked on Instagram doesn't make you, that's not empowering. There's a difference. Uh -huh. Like, I'm sorry, Kim Kardashian. Like, you're not, like you're not like being empowered right now. You're like only showing yourself as an object. All you have to offer is your looks. So that's not female empowerment to me. Oh, no offense to her, but yeah. like that's what she like, that was her response to like when, you know, Bette Midler or something when she like put her name, you know, and like this, this slut walk like is cool, I guess, or whatever Amber Rose is doing. Like, I don't know, but I, I, get, I get it, but I'm also like, because I used to be all for that. I was like, fuck as many guys as you want. And, like, it's all good. Like, you should, like, own your shit. And, like, and I still do feel that way. But it's, like, for, for other women. But it's, like, I'm not, like, okay with doing that. If that makes any sense. Like, and maybe before, like, but I have a fucking daughter. Yeah. Now. It's different. Like, that should change my looks on everything. I'm sorry. I'm getting, like, way off topic. But well, I mean, I think it, it, it goes. But it ties in with. Yeah, Everything. definitely. It goes back to it. Um, and the language that's used to describe women oh my online God. is crazy, for sure. It's not. And it's interesting to me, too. I, I've seen a couple of people who prominent, prominently on, on social media saying that there's no such thing as being bullied online. A couple of guys, I want to say Taxstone was one of them. I was bullied online. And do you think it actually exists? Do you feel like it's real? Like, yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I had someone like threaten my daughter and stuff, who's a friend of Ian Connors. Interesting. Yeah. This and, is when she was like six. And, so. and that happened. This doesn't surprise me, this stuff. I mean, this guy also beat his girlfriend. It was like online. You know, there's a very, like, these guys stick together that, mm -hmm. like, they have mommy issues. I don't know. Like, I'm not, like, it's. It seems like mental illness, like weird shit. Like I wouldn't want to be in a room alone with any you, of them. I, what I'm I mean, I would like fucking beat the shit out of somebody, but <laughs> I wouldn't like. Yeah, it's, they seem criminal to me. But do you think me. though that as a woman, you can't like this guy is arguing that you can't bully somebody online. All you have to do is log out. Do you feel that that's true, or actually, as a woman, maybe it feels a little different? Oh, you can totally bully people online. Okay. It's like the, one of the biggest people, like kids are killing themselves over that shit. Because to some, to some people, to kids, to teens and stuff, like online is all they know. Mm -hmm. So like, that is how you get bullied, you know? Like kids probably aren't bullying each other. Like they're bullying each other more online than in person, you know? Because they're true. spending more time online than they are like with people. So yeah, that is how sure. you bully people. Okay. Okay, so let's, um, so now you're doing something I'm really excited about. You and Hot 97 DJ Laura Styles are doing a podcast weekly. Yeah, it's so awesome. And How did I that love happen? Laura Styles is like just the fucking like sweetest, like best person. Like she's like motivates me and we, we're kind of like new friends. Um, Yes, new friends, it happens. Um, someone introduced us, I can't remember who, and we just started like doing like a bi-weekly like, lunch, like meeting up, and we had like so much shit to talk about. And we have a lot of stuff in common. Like we're, a lot, we're very different in a lot of ways, um, but we also have a lot of things in common. And we were like, you know what, we should like fucking like do something together. What can we do, you know? And we're like, let's do a fucking podcast. Let's jump on the podcast bandwagon, you know? And, um, and I had John Buscemi be like, why the hell don't you have a podcast? And after he said that, I was like really hounding Laura. I'm like, all right, we got to do this. Like, you know, like he put it in my head and I'm like, we've got to do it. So we were just like, fuck it. it how, how are people responding to it? I mean, good. It's been getting a lot of plays, you know, or like listens from what I can see on SoundCloud. And it's going to be on iTunes soon. And um, so far, it's just been us kind of like talking, but we're gonna start having guests and have like, you know, we're gonna do a little more professionally, but it's just like us talking shit and kind of like what's going on in our daily lives or like at the time and like all, you know, we'll have topics that we discuss, all that kind of good stuff. 
It's good. Yeah, it is good. It's always good. It's always, it's, even though you say the podcast bandwagon, it's still shocking to hear women talk about sex and periods. Like the last periods. thing was like our period stories, like when we first got like what our first periods were like, you know, that was like her story. Funny. That did you hear her fucking story? It's like <laughs> insane. Oh my god! And I like Chuck passed the e. Chuck E. Cheese the other day. I was like Laura, you know. Um, and I think it's really awesome for her. Not that I want to speak for her, but I know you know she's like censored on Hot 97. Like you know, you can't talk about, you can't curse, and it's the morning show or whatever. And this is like her way to like really like kind of connect with her fans on a more personal level. And I'm sure her fans are like really excited about that. No, that is awesome. That's, I was thinking that same thing. And for me, it's like just um, fun to do something besides like the clothing stuff. And it's like a whole other side of, I mean, it is part of the brand at the same time, you know, because it's me. And um, if I, I just need to keep myself busy or, you know, I get crazy. So I want to, one of the things you, you, you discussed in the podcast. Um, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, it's Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton. Oh yeah, you, I know. I'm gonna get like so shitted on about this, like. But I'm not saying I'm like pro Donald Trump at this point. I'm like, I just I don't like either of them. Obviously, I just feel like at least he's like not. I, I feel like at least he just like wears his, you know, his. He's just who he is. Who he is. What you see is what you get with him. And I don't feel like he's hiding much. And like with Hillary, I feel like she is, you know? I'm not gonna just be like, yeah, I'm voting for Hillary, like, cause she's a fucking woman. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a shit. Um, and I really might not vote. And I was just reading um, in the New York Times an article and so many people are like, I just don't think I'm gonna vote, you know? Which is really like scary, but I'm like, maybe we do need like the opposite in, in you know, in a, to, take over the presidency. I have no idea. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm at a loss. I really am. What makes you, I mean, where, does she, where do you get the phony feeling from her? What makes you feel that way about Definitely, her? Definitely, like, her relationships with, like, Goldman Sachs and stuff, and then, like, her acting, like, totally, like, liberal on, you know. And look, with women's rights and stuff, I, I would never want abortion, like, abolished or anything like that, and that's, like, very scary, but I really don't think it I don't think uh, we as a country would let that happen. Like, I feel like re Republicans, like, and I also don't, th you know, I think that Donald Trump is lying about being racist. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but, like, he does business with tons of Muslims, pe Muslim people. Like, are you kidding me? Like, with the buildings and stuff like that? Like, there's no way. Like, he can act anti-Muslim. I know he's not. He's not. He's just saying what he knows. He's smart. He's saying what the country wants to hear, like, middle America and shit. He knows that's how he's going to get the vote, you know? Do you, so you think basically if he were to become president, he he's going to be more, like, way more lenient. I don't think he's going to be like, yeah, let's, like, not let, like, any new Muslims into the country. I mean, that's insane, first of all. Um, it's not cool to fucking, like, be spreading, like, hatred like that. That's nuts, you know? But it's bad. Yeah, it is really bad, <laughs> definitely. Do you think to become as, as, famous as they are, as wealthy as they are, do you, do you think to achieve that level of height, you uh, compromising some of your principles as a Ooh, Hillary and Donald? Yeah. I mean, well, what about, there's a, there's a lot of people that are, what about the owner of Chipotle? I mean. Same thing. Hillary, Donald. Owner of Chipotle, Chipotle, Mark Zuckerberg, Sheryl sure. Sandberg. Yeah. Um, well, what about the people that own, um, which I think is like a hippie company, <laughs> Burt's Bees, oh, you they know? Sold. They sold. They <laughs> oh, did sold. they? Okay. Yeah. I guess you do. You have to kind of like be a little bit of a sociopath, I think, is part of the game.